lighting is like super weird right now. It's like really rainy outside, so there's no like natural sun right now. So it's kind of probably gonna be yellow because of my lighting in my room. So I apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it because I'm a broke university student who cannot afford lights. <laughs> also, can we just take in how like adorable the shirt is? I'm like obsessed with it. It's like Minnie Mouse and it's so cute and I'm like obsessed and that's what I'm doing for Halloween and I'm really excited about it. XV, what's XV? Is it ninth? God, I'm an idiot. I don't know. Young King Louie, we're just gonna say that. I was gonna say Upton. She's a model. <laughs> English. It's Jay and I am back with another unboxing video. I have five packages that I have accumulated over the past couple of months while I've been at university, so I thought I would show you them now and tell you a little bit about them. So, without further ado, let us get started! This package is from Penguin. That just went everywhere. <laughs> heavy-duty protection for a damn book. I'd like to point out, it didn't even protect the book that well because there's, like, a huge dent in it. So all of that heavy-duty packaging was for nothing because it didn't work and it went all over my room. But is The Bourbon Kings by J.R. Ward, and I'm not 100% sure what it's about because it's kind of confusing the back, but it says, Welcome to the upstairs downstairs world of Southern money and privilege where power and passion rule and dark family secrets never stay buried. Sounds interesting, and it is a hefty book. It looks very James Bondish, so that's really exciting because I feel like that would be a really interesting read. But I will let you guys know what I think of it and all my thoughts when I finally read it. The second book that I have is from Lane Powell, Attorneys and Counselors, from Seattle, Washington. This package is not gonna explode on me, so I'm just gonna rip it open. No, I'm not because it doesn't rip. It's like literally paper and it's not ripping. Wait, what? This is like. This is like the $20 bills and like, that we have in Canada now, where it just doesn't rip. That's this material. I got it in the logo. It is Logos by John Nealman, and it is the novel of Christianity's origin, which I know nothing about, so that should be interesting for me, because I am like, in no way religious in any way, shape, or form, so it's gonna be interesting to learn more about something that I have no idea anything about. This book that I have is from Simon Schuster. And I'm pretty sure this is not gonna explode on me, but I'm kinda scared to open it. All these packages I'm gonna be like terrified to open them just because of that one package, because I'm gonna have to vacuum my room before I go back to university. This is The Lake House by Kate Morden. And it is about a woman named Alice, and she's a famous crime writer, and she has been haunted for years about her brother's disappearance when he was 11 months old. A woman named Sadie Sparrow comes, and she is a detective who is going to reopen the case of her brother Theo's disappearance, and she allows Alice to come along with her and takes her on the adventure of trying to still find Theo. Cover though, it's like really, really pretty. I'm excited. But it is also a really hefty book. All of these books are like super long. Usually when I like get books they're like pretty short, like 200 pages. These are like 400 500 pages, which is terrifying to me. But I'll be fine. <laughs> Next book is from... Stephen A. Swinarski from Ohio. I don't think I've ever gotten a book from Ohio. So hi Stephen! How you doing? Thank you for sending me a book. <gasps> it's the bad packaging again! Like I don't understand. Do you see this? Like why is it like that? science fiction novel and it is the Moreau Quartet series but this is volume one and it includes Force of the Night and Fearful Symmetries and it is about the Moreaus who are human and animal hybrids and it is set in 2053 so I've never read a book like this so I'm actually really excited and it's probably gonna be super interesting so the only problem I have with this book is that the font is so small and that terrifies me. I hate small font because I feel like it takes me so much longer to get through the book. And the final book that I'm going to be opening for you guys today is from Simon & Schuster as well. See, I like Simon & Schuster packaging because there's no stuff. It's just bubbles. And I like bubble wrap way better because it is way more fun to play with than having the vacuum. Just saying. Oh, it's so pretty. The book is The Sisters of Versailles. I'm not 100% sure how to say that. I am so sorry. But it is by Sally Christie, and I am in love with this cover. It is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with the gold, and I love the pink color, and it's so cool because it opens up, and the girl is there, and it, I just think, oh, it's so pretty. It is about young King Louis and how he is believed to be getting tired of his Polish wife. So everybody is trying to become the next 
mistress for the king so that they can have power and yada 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 and these five aristocratic sisters decide that they are going to be the ones who get to be the king's mistress and it is all about how each one of the sisters are the king's favorite for some point in time. It's set in France which obviously you should all know by now I'm obsessed with. I want to go there so badly and it's in the 18th century so that's super exciting and I don't think I've really ever read a historical fiction thing yet. Like mostly all I read is YA contemporary so I'm actually really excited to get into this book because it is gorgeous and it sounds really interesting and I will let you guys know what I think of it in my wrap up. Alright guys so that was the five books that I won off of Goodreads. I will see you in my next video and goodbye. Oh, please, please come off easily. Come on. Come on, sticker. Don't be a jerk. You're being a jerk. You were a jerk. Okay, cool. For a book, stop messaging me on Facebook when I'm trying to talk about books.